On the 25th of February, a number of Gatwick SIDs are changing from RNAV back to conventional navigation. In this Vatsim UK Operations Department Explainer, we're going to outline the changes you need to be aware of. If you're interested in why the changes are happening, then hang around for a few minutes at the end. If you only want to know how the changes are going to affect you, then here's what you need to know. The main changes affect SIDs off runway 26 left that turn to the east. In more familiar terms, that's departures off 26 left routing via Lambourne, Clacton and Dover. There's also a change to begin departures for all runways, but this will only affect flights positioning to Heathrow or RAF Northolt. Lambourne. The first change is perhaps the easiest one to get your head around. The Lambourne 2 X-ray, which is an RNAV SID, is going to be removed from the 25th of February. Instead, all departures filed via Lambourne will then need to be allocated the Lambourne 6 Mike SID. This won't be a problem for pilots with outdated air racks because the procedure has existed for many years. The sector file will be amended so the conventional SID appears in the departure list by default. So all you'll need to do is clear aircraft off 26 left on the Lambourne 6 Mike. To summarise, the RNAV SID, the Lambourne 2 X-ray from 26 left, is being removed. Instead, Departures will use the existing Lambourne 6 Mike conventional procedure. Clacton. Now this is where things start to get a little more complicated. At the moment, flights via Clacton, if they're RNAV capable, file via Frain and are allocated the Frain 1x-ray departure. From the 25th of February, this SID is also going to be removed. Instead, the old conventional SID, here represented in blue, is being shortened back to Frain to become the Frain 1 Mike. So the RNAV version is going and the new conventional version ends at Frain, the same place as the outgoing RNAV SID finished. So, what do we clear aircraft on? The set file will be amended so the conventional SID appears in the departure list by default, but at least for the first few months, you will need to make sure that pilots who can't find the Frain 1 Mike in their flight management computer, because they have an out-of-date air rack, understand that the soon-to-be-outdated Frain 1 X-ray is the acceptable alternative. It will not be necessary to pre-note or inform London of any aircraft flying the old RNAV SID on VATSIM, and the 08 right Frain 1 Zulu departure is unaffected. So, for Clacton, the RNAV SID, the Frain 1 X-ray from 26 left, is being removed, and instead, departures will use the new Frain 1 Mike conventional procedure. But if they don't have this, the Frain 1 X-ray may be given without coordination with London. Dover. For aircraft via Dover, the picture is more complicated still. Instead of a replacement conventional SID that ends at ADMAG, the new version ends at a brand new waypoint. RNAV capable aircraft at the moment file either via ADMAG for 26 left or ODVIC for 08 right. The 08 right route is unaffected. However, the ADMAG 2 X ray off 26 left is being removed. As a replacement, the Dover conventional SID is being shortened to end at a new fix called MIMFO creating the MIMFO 1 mic. When amending flight plans, anyone with the new MIMFO departure will join the same Yankee 312 airway that they do now from the ADMAG SID. So, for every aircraft filed via ADMAG on 26 left, you will need to ask whether they have the MIMFO 1 mic. If they do, simply swap out ADMAG for MIMFO in their route and clear them on the new SID. If they don't have it, just clear them on the ADMAG 2 X-ray. Sometimes a pilot may file via MIMFO, but then realise that they don't have the up-to-date air rack in their plane to actually be able to fly it. In these cases, you should change their route from MIMFO to ADMAG, so London controllers know they are on the older SID. In summary, the RNAV SID, the ADMAG 2 X-ray from 26 left, is being removed. In its place, a brand new conventional procedure, the MIMFO 1 mic, is created. Flight plans will need to start at either ADMAG or MIMFO before joining the Yankee 312 airway. Begin. All of the Begin RNAV SIDs are being removed from the AIP, so will no longer be flyable. We are leaving the coordination process for positioning flights to Heathrow and Northolt exactly as it is now. The only change, therefore, will be that instead of a SID clearance, standard after departure instructions will be given instead. These vary depending on the runway. For runway 26 left or right, it's to climb straight ahead to India Whiskey Whiskey 2.3 DME, then turn right heading 075, climb to altitude 4000 feet, with speed 220 knots or less. For runway 08 right or left, 
is to climb straight ahead to India Golf Golf, 5 DME, then turn right heading 090 degrees and climb to altitude 6,000 feet. An example of this clearance would be speed at 9056, clear to Heathrow via Biggin. After departure, runway 26 left, climb straight ahead to India Whiskey Whiskey 2.3 DME, then turn right heading 075, climb to altitude 4,000 feet, speed 220 knots or less, squawk 4624. For simplicity, no aircraft will be cleared via a Biggin SID after the 25th of February, even if having an old AIRAC means they could still fly it. And remember, this departure is only for traffic positioning to Heathrow or RAF Northolt. So, let's recap the changes. Each route has a slightly different approach we need to take because of the differences in how Gatwick has chosen to revert to conventional SIDs. Via Lambourne, all you need to do is clear every aircraft of 26 left on the already existing Lambourne 6 mic. This is by far the simplest change. Via Clacton, the new conventional SID is via Frain, so clear via the new Frain 1 mic by default, but expect some pilots to say they do not have this SID and ask to fly the Frain 1 X-ray instead. This is fine, and no coordination is required if they do. Via Dover, the new conventional SID is via MIMFO and not ADMAG. However, the new MIMFO is connected to the same airway, the Yankee 312, as the ADMAG was. So you need to ask pilots if they have either the MIMFO 1 mic or the ADMAG 2 X-ray SID. Make sure their route reflects which one they have and clear them accordingly. Again, there is no need to let London know, but you must make sure the correct option of either MIMFO 1 mic or hashtag ADMAG 2 X-ray is shown in the departure list and that you update the initial route fix to either MIMFO or ADMAG as required. And that's it. Gatwick SID changes to make midweek madness even crazier. The VMATS, crib sheet and set file will all be updated to reflect these changes in time for the effective date on the 25th of February. So don't forget to update. Now, if you fancy it, let's find out why the SID's changing. It's all to do with something called Route 4, one of the noise preferential routes out of Gatwick off runway 26 left. When the current RNAV SIDs were introduced over seven years ago, the effect was to concentrate eastbound flights on a much narrower route compared to conventional procedures. As a result, flights became concentrated on a flight path that didn't exactly match the old one, and so a lengthy legal battle from nearby residents ensued. At appeal to the Civil Aviation Authority, which makes decisions on airspace changes in the UK, it was successfully argued that when the RNAV procedures were introduced, Gatwick Airport had also not sufficiently explained the benefits of the do-nothing approach. A do-nothing approach would have been to not introduce the RNAV SIDs at all. The successful appeal only affects Route 4 SIDs, so that's Lambourne, Frayne and ADMAG from runway 26 left. As such, Gatwick has been forced to remove the Route 4 RNAV SIDs so that their design can be amended and a better understanding of what the traffic looked like before they were introduced can be built up. Both big and RNAV procedures, off 26 left and 08 right, have been removed too. It's all made a little more complicated by the fact that within the last seven years, the RNAV SIDs were truncated, in effect made shorter. This enabled fuel savings to be made by letting operators plan for a climb at an earlier point. So, in order to make sure there is no net negative impact on the environment by reverting to conventional SIDs, some of them are being truncated to end at a similar place to the RNAV SIDs they are now replacing. Complex, huh? Well, if you're confused, then we don't blame you. But thankfully, we only need to know what it means for VASIM.